Okay, so you've all seen the title, so the first thing. Dark RP admins have the most fragile egos in the whole community. The dark figures are real, if you ploy quote unquote haunted maps, which on its own is just a map with an additional lure file attached to it. The dark figures aren't real, if you play vanilla Gmod. See, the most popular game mode of all time is Lider and Melon Racer. There are two separate versions of Prop Hunt, with no significant differences. The so-called Source Engine is an old pile of spaghetti code. Gmod runs on a 2013 branch of the engine, and um, over the years, I'd seen some threads here and there about how the engine apparently downgraded a few things. Correct it in a comment if I'm wrong. But frankly, there isn't any proof. The one big thing that I just really miss from the old G mods is the work in Half Life 2 mops. The transition, which is something that doesn't work in Gmod 13. It's shine effect, and it can't be fixed. Uh, just kidding. It can't be fixed by using one or two commands, or just down a mod. And frankly, I'd rather go with a mods option, because at least in that case, you're not just turning off the reflections, which is basically the way to fix it, is to just turn it off. And I'm sure that more than a half of the community used that command at least once. At least once. The effects don't have physics. There are over 290k add-ons. 412 kali sives and practically a million dupes. 4% of all sives are related to FNAF 5 Nights of Freddy's. Do you still remember that? It's funny because I have a, this weird relationship with, you know, Five Nights because I actually met someone on a FNAF map in Gmod and we still play to this day. Uh, that was back in a, you know, at the height of an off, sort of, then you know, 2014. What a time to live. Consistent exposure to dark RP for a period longer than one day could actually lead to irreversible brain damage and reduction of functional capabilities. Subjects have repeatedly only been able to say three letters after 16 days of exposure. Those letters being R D. Um, nightmare, honestly. It's impossible to ply an RP service and not bloat your game with hundreds of useless content packs. My add-ons folder is 65 gigabytes when, in fact, I only have 2.1 gigabytes in my own mods. There are only 279 add-ons tagged with furry, it's simply not possible to put a map from GTA 3 or Vice City. The previous fight is false. Now there are GTI maps and a workshop on the Source Engine. Can you imagine? How nuts is that? Now a quick throwback to 10 years ago. Stop it slender has a PvE mode, in which Slender is a bot. But before that, there were actual Slender maps, up to three of them actually, which I have memories of. If I actually managed to, you know, find them, you should be able to see them on your screen. Uh, these maps actually had letters, and a lot. They require the episodic content, which I don't have at the moment. 7k, uh, player, in Gmod, he plays without CSS content or the Half-Life episodes. That is an ironically unhinged, very unhinged of me. I actually still don't know what add-ons that are marked as incompatible items actually do or mean. Don't play Gmod with mods if you have a slow connection. 
Do not play Gmod with mods if your dice are as limited. Never play Gmod on dice from the 31st of March to the 5th of April. Okay, well, not even not until the 5th of April, but for at least two dice because some add-ons get updated as you know, a part of the April Fools, and your guy might not actually work as you expect it. That's coming from, you know, first hand experience here. Uh, the pill pack. The mods are stored in a different place now. They used to be stored in the add-ons folder. As GMI files with relatively comprehensible names. But now, they're stored in a Steam library workshop. Inside the game ID here. Some of the vanilla player characters are outdated. Like, you know, the CSS models or the Die of Defeat models. The Combine variant, the Prison Guard variant, Medics, Zombies, well, one of them at least. But all of these can't be fixed with one mod, which raises a few questions. Why then the Gmod devs fix this? Can be bothered, I guess. This funk shader is absolutely disgusting. Luckily, you can use mods for the good reliable console command to get rid of it. Employable characters used to be just like the NPCs without any colour. We used to have no sea hands. Instead of rocking the Gordon Hange, then blue Gordon Hange. Is it weird that I just genuinely miss that? Once again, on a console, you can use one command to spawn a hairball. Why is hairball the thing? Because hairballs. But seriously, the crackhead once told me that hairballs. Are just a mass of 100 ropes, each with three segments, and that they were an early task for the rope physics. There's a dupe that lets you spawn a jelly cube. Okay, here we go. Last fact. You've managed to make it this far, which means you should absolutely see this next video about a certain part of Gmod's history that you don't know everything about. Like, did you know that there were three cats and that people just always mix them up? So click here and click now to not miss out.